I like how the character is set up in the feature. So using all the testimonials to sort of build up this character before he even gets a chance to speak. Um, I really liked how they did that. It's a really clever and powerful way to introduce us to someone. Um, it's obvious by what is said that um, he's a very intelligent person, um, but also quite humble, which is often usually not a char character combination um, that we see, and that sort of makes him come off more interesting. Um, but I really think the testimonials in the beginning is a really great way to set up a character. Um, I like how the, the, the race sort of has its own character of itself. The, they're one but sort of distinct um, characters. I like what's presented in the feature is sort of the relationship that he has with this community and that's also made evident and I like how the, so the director depicts that through um, not just the testimonials but the verite scenes of him sort of playing uh, chess and the montages of him having fun with everyone and how much he means to people and how much um, they mean to him. From his family's point of view, it seems as if there's an aspect of maybe not fully understanding or maybe feeling sorry for him a bit. But then you have the perspective of the people he plays against who feel enamored by him. He's, you know, this untouchable entity. And it reminds you that everyone looks at people differently. He's certainly an eccentric personality, that's for sure. He decided to spend his time doing expeditions with chess rather than playing within the Chess Federation construct. You know, he seems like he had, he kind of marches to the beat of his own drum. And you see all of his um, fullness because the way the documentary is broken down in, in these various chapters, um, you get the sense of him in every aspect. You see him as a brother, as an opponent, as a friend, and then as a coach and as a mentor. And then you get to the, the, um, Satisfaction of seeing him lose a game um, and the satisfaction of the opponent that had to play against him 50 to 60 times just to win. And so then you see that there's some humanity. There's He's not all the way untouchable, which is just nice to know in a person. And then you see the culmination of his life's work in the creation of the Chess Cave and the Red Berry Foundation, which inevitably became his legacy. Listening to the story of Jude and uh, hearing about his upbringing, but just his love for uh, chess, it was such a contagious feeling. Just um, the passion and the fun that they were having, it, it bled out of the documentary, it bled out of the screen and into you. Um, just watching his excitement and the people that he's touched with his love of chess and their love of chess, just seeing that excitement of either trying to beat him or that elation when they finally beat him. Um, and just seeing that bond that all of these people make with Jude. Um, one of the biggest things that they talk about is how Jude doesn't really embrace having a family because of his upbringing. But I would argue that it, from watching this documentary, it really did feel like chess and anyone who played chess with Jude was part of his family. No matter how big or small the impact was or the encounter was, anyone who Jude plays chess with, that's his family. Really shows his love and passion for this this hobby of his that he's managed to make, a, a, you know, inevitably make a career out of. Um, we see how many people he has impacted, how he has affected history, and how he kind of goes about his day-to-day -day living. And you kind of see the joy that he gets out of spending time with kids and really getting to take time and teach people to also be passionate about something that, um, isn't necessarily taken um, taken so much these days. Really nice to see these historical moments and these pieces of bigger people in this in this niche world to then um, really just see the passion that 
uh, an impact that he has on people. Like so, you see so many different perspectives at different ages and different moments in time, but the one thing remains the same. And I love that they showcased this piece and was able to tell his story um, in such a way that I just thought it was just really well done. You really get lost in the story. Uh, it kind of seems like there's always something in culture that points to chess. And it turns out that one of the origins of that is Jude, this, this man in, in, the, in the Red Beret. Um, you know, he, he chose a brand and stuck to it and it, it, it has paid off for him. But it was nice that all of this happened, all of this chess and all this education, all this travel, all these friendships, all this community happened for virtue of Jude just being who he is, uh, being a nice guy playing chess, helping people, teaching people. Um, you know, this is the way things get done, really. You know, there was, he was not a rock star. You know, a lot of this was before social media and internet, you know. He just was being who he was, doing his thing, playing his game. And uh, it, it's created a life for him and it's created, uh, exponentially created a life, life for other people. I love how the personal story and the passion for the game come through both from the main character's perspective, but also from all the community members and people whose lives he's touched in playing the game with them.